I'm Neo, and this is the- Let's take out the trash. Luke, come on, man. You, you can't- you can't just call them that. My bad. This is just what I do. Yeah, I know. It's- it's rough to make a living in this economy. But- but what I was gonna say- I'm running out of mop heads. But what I was going to say, this is the right way to play Luke. Hit that subscribe button. If you enjoyed my content, it helps me out a ton. But first, Papa Nimble Neuron has blessed me with five 300 NP premium currency to give away. All you gotta do is leave a comment down below and you could win. I'll be drawing comments on February 20th. Quick little disclaimer. Now this is considered event NP, so this 300 NP expires seven days before you enter the code in game and you have to redeem it before the 28th. I'm just giving you guys the biggest window possible to get what you want. I'm going to go over the builds first and foremost because that's what a lot of people come to these guides for. And I have to be brutally honest, there's only one real way to build Luke at the moment. And it's this one right here. This little four zone build has been Luke's bread and butter since as far back as I can remember. You start in Pond, move over to Avenue, Hotel, and then Alley to finish it off. You can also start in Hotel, instead and then move to pond avenue and then alley uh, honestly i prefer the latter just because that's how this build used to go and generally you have to have enough power at that point to get an early kill in avenue there is also this slight variant that uses a crusader helmet instead but i'm just so used to the royal crown at this point i, I just prefer the other build okay now that's out of the way augments there's a really obvious choice here and a not so obvious choice. Uh, the absolute vast majority of players is going to run this page with the Frailty Infliction Keystone. And this page is pretty common, pretty stable, pretty good. Cover girl. But there is another page that doesn't get used nearly as much and has a much better average rank. And honestly, I didn't even know about this page until after I recorded gameplay. And it's this one right here. Since you actually have a significant amount of healing on Luke, it actually makes sense to run Healing Factor as your Keystone. All right, all right. Let's rewind just a little bit. Cannot play this guy, and I don't know why. Too far, too far. Let, let's talk about Luke's skills. Luke's passive is neat and tidy. This passive comes in two parts. Neat means that Luke recovers missing health upon killing a player or killing Wickeline. Tidy is a stacking mechanic. Every time you kill anything, or open an airdrop, you gain stacks depending on the difficulty. For instance, a chicken gives you two stacks, where killing a player is five stacks. At 15, 40, and 75 stacks, Luke gains an evolution point to upgrade his other skills. Luke's Q is clean sweep, and you want to max and evolve this ability first. Luke throws a line skill shot out, and if it hits an enemy, you can recast the Q to dash to the enemy that was hit. This ability also destroys shields. The evolution effect of Clean Sweep is that on reactivation, it heals Luke for about 80% of the damage dealt. Luke's W is Elbow Grease, and you want to max and evolve this ability second. It has a passive effect of reducing slows on Luke by 12%. Pressing W makes your auto attacks empowered and increases Luke's attack speed for each hit for a short time. The evolution effect is that every hit with Elbow Grease reduces the cooldown of Clean Sweep by half a second. Luke's E is Dirty Work, and this is the ability you want to max snowball third. Dirty Work has a passive effect that Luke does not cause pings on the minimap when attacking or killing an enemy. The active effect is that Luke teleports behind targeted enemy, dealing a little damage. The evolution effect is enemies damaged by this ability are slowed by 70% for half a second. Luke's R is Pressure Washer. This ability fires a line skill shot after a long windup, dealing damage based on the enemy's missing health, applying a slow, and pushes Luke back a short distance. You only ever put one point into this ability. The evolution effect is hitting an enemy with pressure washer resets the cooldown clean sweep. The special effect of Luke's R is that this ability kind of fucking sucks. Luke is a snowball character, plain and simple, meaning you have to get early kills to be really successful. With the build I suggested, your major power spike is after finishing your weapon and plasma arc in the avenue. Hit them with your Q. If you miss your Q, don't bother getting in range of any of their abilities. Your Q is a large portion of your damage and is a primary way to get on top of people for the kill. 
when you get on top of somebody, you smash W and slap the shit out of them. Use your E to dodge abilities they throw at you or to close the distance for an extra auto. If you're close to finishing the kill or they run away with very low HP, press R to try to execute. Mid fight, you should use your Q off cooldown since it heals you and does a significant amount of damage. When you hit an opponent with Q, you don't need to immediately recast it as well, you can just wait a short period of time. This is good for psychological warfare. <laughs> you never know when I'm gonna do it. Remember, it's not about winning. It's about sending a message. And yeah, that's really it. Uh, playing Luke is fairly straightforward. He's actually really fun to play, and I hate him. <laughs> uh, because he's honestly designed to be a noob stomper, he decimates games at lower tiers, and just because of how hyper-aggressive he has to play. He can really run away with the game very early on. And it's also why he's been changed and reworked and nerfed so many times to make him more fair to the newer players so he can't just walk up to you and win immediately. <laughs> if I fail, am I trash?